Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. The time has finally come for the UDM Pro migration to start. The Unified Dream Machine Pros and the UDM base model are currently on the Unify OS 1.x, but earlier this morning, Ubiquity released Unify OS Dream Machine 2.4.27 for the UDM base and the UDM Pro. This is still a release candidate, but it is available to the general public if you go into the RC channel. So in this video, we're just going to go over the release notes. So if you don't want to hear me read them, I will put a link down below, but then we'll also go over what this doesn't give you. Ubiquity has been testing this release for a couple months now, and there were EA versions of it. So hopefully from 2.4.27 to 2.5 and then 3.0, it goes a lot quicker. First off, they're saying, why are we doing this for the UDM and the UDM Pro? So we have consistent versioning across all OS consoles. So what this is going to do is the UDM Pro and the UDM SE, once they reach level 3.0, it's going to be the same release every time. So when a new OS version comes out, it's for the UDM Pro and the UDM SE. It's going to enhance device stability due to more efficient resource usage, quicker, more reliable feature delivery, and then improve user experience with the gateways. So if you're going to upgrade to 2.4.27, this is going to bring your console down for about 20 minutes, depending on how much data you have stored. If you have automatic updates on, this will eventually push to your UDM Pro console. Also, a cloud configuration backup file will be automatically generated before the update proceeds. They also note here, we recommend that all users regularly back up their systems, and that is great practice. I do it every time before I make a change. The next big thing is if you're using any third-party modifications like Home Assistant or Polar, they will be lost after this upgrade. So that is something to note. We also have some update troubleshooting here that you could read, and we have secondary migration. All critical data will remain intact. However, some advanced logging may be lost, including network, remote syslog, and firewall logs, access dashboard data, but it will still be available in the access log tab. And then under additional information, this is very important to read. You must be on 1.12.38 before applying this migration, or else you may experience unknown issues. The SSH host key will be regenerated due to a new operating system and upgrade to connect application 2.1.25 or newer before applying this migration. One last thing about the release notes, you have to be the console owner to be able to trigger this update. If you're just an admin on the console, you're not gonna be able to do it. So now let's talk about what this brings us. Does it bring you anything new? Well, it doesn't. No new features are gonna be available in this update. That comes next at Unify 2.5. With Unify 2.5, we got things like load balancing and wired speed limits. We could already do speed limits on the Wi-Fi networks, but we couldn't ever do it on our wired networks until Unify OS 2.5. And the biggest update is for Unify 3.0. That brings us system logs, firewall logs, security detection logs, ad blocking, and WireGuard VPN. And we also have the ability to do open VPN clients if we want to route a whole network through something like NordVPN. This is just the first firmware update in the migration path to get the UDM pros on the same level. I'm very happy with how Ubiquity has been handling this. They've been doing a lot of testing and they've needed to. If they just released this without testing, it would probably break a whole lot of business networks. Let me know in the comments below if you're happy with Ubiquity's migration plan or if you think that it's been taking too long. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.